Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's algebra lesson is on elimination using addition and subtraction, and our objective is to solve systems of equations by using elimination with addition and subtraction. And our key concept, solving by elimination, has three steps. And our first step is to write the system, so like terms, with the same or opposite coefficients are aligned, are lined up. Then, for step two, add or subtract the equations, eliminating one variable. Then solve the equation. So you'll have a variable, x equals or y equals. Then in step three, substitute the value from step two into one of the equations. And solve for the other variable. Write the equation or the solution as an ordered pair. So again, step one, write the system. So like terms with the same or opposite coefficients are aligned. Step two, add or subtract the equations, eliminating one variable, then solve the equation. And step three, substitute the value from step two into one of the equations and solve for the other variable. Write the solution as an ordered pair. So use elimination to solve the system of equations. Negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. And 3x minus 6y equals 18. Well, we already have things lined up with our x's and our y's and our constants here. And, well, we have negative 3x and 3x. We have 4y and negative 6y. And our goal here is to eliminate. Now, we have negative 3x and 3x. So if we added those together, negative 3x plus 3x, that would eliminate. So I'm going to rewrite these. Negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. And then we have 3x minus 6y equals 18. What I'm going to do here is add. Because if I add 3x to the negative 3x, I, I get 0x. I get nothing. Those just eliminate. I get nothing here. So then if I add 4y to a negative 6y, I would have negative 2y. And that would equal whatever 12 plus 18 is. Well, 12 plus 18 is 30. And if I divide by negative 2 on both sides here in order to solve for y, y is going to equal negative 15. Now, for step two, pick one of the equations. I'm going to pick the first one. It doesn't matter what you pick. I'll pick the first one, negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. And now I need to substitute in the negative 15 for y, so I get negative 3x plus 4 times negative 15 equals 12. And so now I get negative 3x minus 4 times 15 is 60. And the positive times the negative is just minus 60 equals 12. And I'm out of room here, so I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 3x minus 60 equals 12. If I go ahead and add 60 to both sides, 
you're left with negative 3x equals 72. And divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and x equals negative 24. And now, finish this off by writing in the ordered pairs. The x is negative 24, the y is negative 15, and that is your solution using elimination for the systems of equations. Now, to write and solve a systems of equations, 4 times one number minus 3 times another number is 12. 2 times the first number added to 3 times the second number is 6. Find the numbers. All right. 4 times one number, 4x. Minus 3 times another number, well, a different number, so that's minus 3y, is equals 12. 2 times the first number, the first number was x, so 2x, added to 3 times the second number, 3y, is 6, equals 6. Find the numbers. Well, again, we're using elimination by addition or subtraction, and if I look at these, you know, 4x and 2x, and I can't do much there, but negative 3y plus y. If I choose to add these again, let's see what happens. 4x plus 2x is 6x. Then this negative 3y plus a positive 3y is 0y. It just eliminates. Goodbye. And then this would equal 12 plus 6 is 18. Now, if I divide by 6 on both sides to solve for my x, my x is going to equal 3. Now, what about my y? I'll pick one of the two equations. This time I'll pick the second one. Why? Well, change it up. Also smaller numbers, sometimes smaller numbers are easy to calculate with. Either way, we put in the 3 for x, so we'd be 2 times 3 plus 3y equals 6. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y equals 6. Subtract the 6 from both sides so you can get your y alone. 3y equals 6 minus 6 is 0. And divide by 3, divide by 3. And anything 0 divided by 3 is just 0. So y is, well, it's not a good circle there. y, 0 divided by 3 is 0. That's better. And if we write this as an order pair, we get 3, 0. So our numbers are 3 and 0. Now, elimination using subtraction. Well, again, you'll have to recognize this on your own, whether or not you're going to be adding or they're not going to be, sub or whether or not you're going to be adding or subtracting here. So if we have 4x plus 2y equals 28, and we have 4x minus 3y equals 18. Well, right away, what you need to be drawn to is where our coefficients are the same or even same or opposite. These are both 4s, so you have a 2 and a negative 3 here. If we're eliminating by addition or subtraction, you need to be drawn to this 4. Now, when deciding whether or not to add or subtract, is adding going to help us eliminate anything here? Not really, because just mentally, you can see that 4 plus 4 is 8, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, and this is, doesn't really matter. That doesn't eliminate anything by addition. And just looking here, we need to subtract. So what happens when we subtract? Well, 4x minus 4x is 0x. That just kind of goes away. Now, careful here, because now we have a positive 2y minus a negative 3y. Well, 2 minus negative 3, if I kept changed opposite, that would be 2 plus 3. So that's 5y. Just be careful with your integers there. Now, 28 minus 18 is 10. And hopefully you can just see, after you divide by 5 here, 
that y is going to equal 2. Now you can pick either equations. I'll jump back up to the first. Just Why not? 4x plus 2y equals 28. Put in 2 for y, or substitute in 2 for y. 4x plus 2 times 2 equals 28. 2 times 2 is 4, so 4x plus 4 equals 28. Solve this two-step equation. Subtract 4 from both sides. 4x equals 24. And if I divide by 4 on both sides, I get x equals 6. And to rewrite this as an ordered pair, x goes first, 6, comma, 2. And that is my answer. A hardware store earned $956.50 from rented ladders and power tools last week. The store charged its customers for a total of 36 days for ladders and 85 days for power tools. This week, the store charged 36 days for ladders, 70 days for power tools, and earned $829. How much does the store charge per day for ladders and power tools? Well, let's set up two different equations here. Let's set up a system of equations, basically. So for last week, we have 36 days for ladders. So we could set that up as 36L plus the 85 days of power tool, so 85P, and that earned them $956.50. Now for this week, we had 36 days for ladders again, so 36L, 70 for power tool, so plus 70P, and that was a total of $800. $29. Now, when determining whether or not to use addition or subtraction to eliminate here, if we added, nothing would eliminate. But if we subtracted, these L's eliminate. So then we have 85P minus 70P. Don't forget that you're subtracting there. That becomes 15P equals your 956 and 50 cents minus 829 is 127 dollars and 50 cents and if you divide by 15 on both sides your power tools per day is going to be eight and five tenths or since we're dealing with money eight dollars and fifty cents per day for our power tools. Now, what about our ladders? Well, pick either equation. I'm going to pick that second one. Again, smaller numbers sometimes are more, a little bit easier to work with. We have 36L plus 70P equals $829. Although, either equation, you're dealing with some big numbers here. We have 36L plus 70 times times that $8.50. We're putting that in for the power tools, and that's going to equal $829. And as we continue simplifying here, we have 36L plus the 70 times $8.50 is $595 equals $829. If you take your 829, we're going to be subtracting the 595 from both sides. And you get 36L equals 234. And finish by dividing by 36 on both sides. And your ladders is going to be 6 and 5 tenths or $6.50 per day. So we have $8.50 per day for power tools. And $6.50 per day for ladders. 
a fun way to solve a real-world problem using systems of equations. That's it for this lesson. Good luck.